Rest easy. Know that the future is out of your control. Tell me about my role in this. Your job is tricky. You gotta find a way to place these explosives on the gas bags. Then get the hell back to our vertebrae. Make it to a comfortable distance, then it's bye bye. What was that? The heck? Right here. Minor injuries detected. Major lacerations detected. Attention all personnel. I'm disappointed. I need to address this. With unsanctioned social contact. Temperatures detected. Anyone who is engaged in such fraternization should report to Night Captain K for immediate decontamination. That is all. Shoot to kill. that thinks that this is all insane? Desdemona, I thought... I thought by calling Red Glare I'd lose more good people. Comrades, thank you for keeping them, and yourself, safe. You're welcome. But we're not out of the woods yet. If the Brotherhood managed to find us, you can bet your ass the SRB is not far behind. We've run out of time. Our next step is to attack the Institute. I have some things to do first. Understood. Just don't take too long. What the? Damn. I'm coming home. Minor lacerations detected. Major lacerations detected. Automatic medical systems engaged. Prophylactic administered. I know you'll achieve great. Temperatures detected.
substitute protocol. Eliminating hostile. Here's a holotape I happen to have. Full scan of the Institute network. Well, all right. I'll start digging into this and see if I can make heads or tails of it. We need a way to bring the fight to them. Let's hope we got something we can use. Well, they sure aren't gonna fall for that teleport hijacker trick twice. Even if it wasn't a smoking pile of scrap metal. <sighs> all the good stuff on here is gonna be encrypted. So the first job is to see if I can crack it. After that, well, I'll have to see what I've got. There's no telling what we might have grabbed off their mainframe. The Brotherhood taken out. I never thought the railroad would be able to pull off something like that. They deserved what they got. They were bastards through and through. Well, they certainly were a threat. And I'm glad they're gone. Now there's just the Institute left to deal with. So this is the Institute. They could have just held out down here forever. Why'd they need to come mess with us? You're not having second thoughts, are you? No, it's too late for that. They've shown that there's no way for us to coexist peacefully. If it's them or us, I choose us. In any case, here we are. No turning back now. You're gonna need this. It's a fusion pulse charge. Once it's attached to the reactor, it can be detonated remotely. You get that on the reactor, and we can trigger an explosion that'll destroy everything the Institute has ever built. Just make sure we give the civilians a chance to escape before we blow the place. We're not here to commit mass murder. We better hurry. They're gonna realize what's going on before too long. I didn't expect to see you again. You had me fooled. I really believed you were on our side. I'm here to blow up your reactor, Sean. Put an end to the Institute. Well... At least there's no need for guessing games now. It's not enough that I lay here dying. Now you plan on what? Destroying everything? Tell me then. Under what righteous pretense have you justified this atrocity? I just want to watch this place burn. It's hard to believe I'm related to you. Well, none of it matters now, I suppose. You'll accomplish your task and ruin humanity's best hope for the future. The only question left then is why you're standing here. Is it regret? Or did you just come to gloat? Sean... If you help me, fewer people will die. Will you? Why would I ever consider helping you? 
Institute personnel won't last long above ground, especially if I'm hunting them down. Give me a reason not to. Very well. The terminal behind me. Enter access code 9003. That will disable some of the synths. Now go. Just... leave me. Son? It's over. Forgive me. Sean? You've doomed humanity. You know that. Just... go. There's nothing more to say. Sean, pull yourself together. This is the life you've got. But you get to decide what to do with it. Very well. But, all you can hope to offer is a short, painful life in a dying world. Don't worry about me, just... Just... Get out of here. Hey, kid. Why did you call me Mom? What? You're my mother. Why else would I call you that? I'm not your mother. Whoever told you that was lying. But you are. Nobody told me, I just know it. Why would you say you're not? Don't you love me anymore? I could never love you. Because you're not really Sean. You're just an imitation. You're lying! You're just saying that so you can leave me here and not feel bad about it. I hate you! Sturgis. I met with the leader of the Institute, and it turns out, he's my son. Yeah, I was in cryogenic storage for a long time. I only just woke up. The Institute kidnapped my son while I was still trapped. But I've found him now. Um, yeah, I'm gonna need a moment. You need to let him go. He's no longer a threat. It won't be a problem. Of course. We look out for our own. Always. Thanks, Sturgis. We owe you. No doubt about that. All right, Sturgis. Fire it up. You're seriously gonna leave that kid? Your own son? Here to burn? He's not my son. He's a synth. <laughs> Man, that's crazy. Ain't no limit to how low they'll sink. Relay's ready whenever you are, boss. Shall we? Absolutely. Let's get the hell out of here. You got it. So, that's it. The Institute is destroyed. It's finally over. You did issue the evacuation order, right? I didn't notice in all the chaos. I didn't have time to waste helping our enemies get away. They're all dead. Oh my god. So we just... killed everyone? This is gonna be a black mark on the Miniman forever. As glad as I am that the Institute is gone, this wasn't the plan! Damn it, General! You dragged us down to their level! It didn't have to be this way. What's done is done. People are still gonna need the Minutemen for a long time. The Institute was hardly the only threat out there. I guess we better get back to work.
Sean? All our work. Laid to waste. You only got what you deserved. Willingly participate in destroying my life's work. Why? Why would you do something so... so stupid? I have no regrets. I went there to destroy the Institute. And I did. Well... At least there's no need for guessing games now. <laughs> Let's not forget our rules here, son. At the end of the day, I'm still your mother. I am acutely aware of our positions. I am also not a child. You murdering, kidnapping psychopath. Fuck the Institute. Get out of here. And so it was that the sole survivor of Vault 111 ventured forth out in the hellish wasteland of the Commonwealth, intent on rescuing her kidnapped infant son, Sean. The Commonwealth proved a cruel, inhospitable place. Unbeknownst to the Vault Dweller, who had been frozen with no perception of the passage of time, sixty years had passed since Sean's kidnapping. The infant son was now no longer a baby, not even a child, but a sixty-year-old man dying of cancer, and also the leader of the very same organization that had kidnapped him in the first place, the Institute. It was not until the end of this long road that our hero was faced with a hard moral choice. Side with the reclusive organization, despite their crimes and questionable research. Sacrificing everything for the sake of family, or side against it. Turning her back on the son she once set out to rescue. The sole survivor rejected both the Institute and its enemies, embarking on a path of death and destruction, from which none of the four main factions would ever recover. The Commonwealth became a graveyard, and the playground of one of the most dangerous unhinged psychopaths this world has ever seen. Yet, the sole survivor could not accept Sean's fate, and was forced to make yet another difficult choice. Using the forced evolutionary virus, Sean would be saved, but only as one of the monstrous super mutants. Sadly, the deep wounds in their relationship could not be mended, and the sole survivor and Sean went their separate ways forever. So ends the story of the sole survivor who stepped through the great door of Vault 111 and into the annals of legend. But the tale of humanity will never come to a close, for the struggle of humanity is a war without end. And war? War never changes.
Dr. Volkert. The Coursers out on duty survived the hell you brought down on the Institute. Now, we have nothing but the hell of the waste to live for. Stay out of my way, or you'll regret it. So, you got your second chance. You saved your son, Sean. But at what cost? What price had to be paid? Did you actually think that you were going to get away with it? And as for father, he let us down. He failed the Institute. Under his tenure, our society collapsed. Now I find out he's joined forces with you? The traitor? After all the things you've done? You and him are the same to me now. Your deaths will be swift. We can do this the hard way, if you want. You fool. This is an open. Son? Just go. There's nothing more to say. I'll see you in hell.